darker uh, grains and you would have seen the actual lamellar structure. But of course this is as far as it goes, I guess it goes to 400. Just for the sake of this uh, training purpose, I would like to have one more sample and I over it. So I want to etch it more than that I have to. And you will see those white ferrite grains, due to the fact that it's over etched, they also become dark. And for doing that, I pick another specimen here. So it's perfectly polished. And I clean the surface, the alcohol. I use this hair blower to And now I have this nitol. And instead of a few seconds, I go maybe 15, 20 seconds. And you will see the this coloration. So get this color. Maybe I use a little more. Again, this is only for uh, the sake of training purpose. So. So and then the specimen most probably now just about to be over etched. And because of that, perhaps you will see much more uh, the darker grains than what you saw in the previous one. Let's try that and see this is happening or not. So use the same procedure, it's just about the repetition. still is not bad, but you see even uh, the ferrite is still inside getting a little darker, so it's not as, uh, I can see it clearly here actually, the even surface of the ferrite are getting etched, and you can see for example here, you will have, although it's ferrite, supposed to be bright and light, is getting more corroded. And if I would have continued for about a minute perhaps, everything would have been completely dark. And that's why there would have been no good. On the other hand, if you would have used it the other way a very uh, short amount of time, perhaps that would have been the only thing you would see as paralyzed, very, very yellowish brown color. So that's, I guess, everything about you have to know about etching. For different uh, materials, use different etching. This nitol 5%. It's typical etching for ferrous alloy, but if you uh, mostly plain carbon steel alloy, if you have more alloying element, goes to stainless steels and goes to higher nickel alloys, you have to use different etchants. Uh, so this all the informations are available commercially and also in metal handbooks. Thank you very much.